this is Jennifer Dornbush. Welcome to Screen Life Mondays. And I have with me Aaron Kenim Kenimer. Kenimer. Okay. And we are on the Seymour uh, Winter Cruise Writers mm -hmm. Retreat. And I just met Erin on this cruise. And just she's delightful and <laughs> wonderful. And um, she's had an amazing week. She's done a ton of pitches. And a lot of people are requesting her work. Mm -hmm. And she writes in a genre that I don't really write in. But she was explaining it to me. And I found it fascinating how she explained it to me. Um, so we're going to talk today about sci-fi and fantasy writing mm -hmm. and Aaron writes especially um, YA sci-fi and mostly and adult sci-fi and YA fantasy oh see I had it backwards mm -hmm. okay so this is Miss Aaron and um, she's gonna okay she, we called it like a degree of which one do you want to explain first I can start with the way sci-fi is kind of classified for um, whether or okay. not you're looking for something really technical or you're looking for something that feels a lot more like fantasy but with like science elements so, okay yeah, yeah explain that difference first <laughs> sure sure so um, a lot of people in science fiction writing and honestly any media that's science fiction based uh, go off the we call it the Mohs scale of hardness uh, really? for There's science fiction Yes, which is actually a okay. geology nerd joke, so okay. some of you all might get that. Um, <laughs> so it goes from 1 to 10, and it's uh, basically trying to quantify how um, how based in the reality of our understanding of science today is this. So okay. um, a 1 would be something where they took some kind of basis in reality, but have completely expanded. You know, like, uh, yeah, there's gravity, but there's also dragons. Um, and then a 10 would be okay. someone who has just changed the smallest detail of reality. Like um, right now, uh, some hard sci-fi that's really fascinating is anything dealing with AI starting to begin to, okay. um, you know, gain sentience or start to work outside. That can be really uh, hard sci-fi because we're getting to that point with our technology. And so okay. that's some of the most exciting stuff, but it can be the hardest to access for new fans. Okay. So it's kind of like, what if, like it's possible, like you can find a little bit of science in it and then you kind of say, but what if? Yes. And expand on it. Okay. Yes. Awesome. And then the other thing you were explaining to me that I found so interesting was, um, I guess the was it the, kind of like the definitions of yeah yeah the definitions different definitions of yes sci-fi <laughs> yeah absolutely so um, for people who maybe aren't familiar with sci-fi and kind of find it intimidating or and don't know how they'll they'll tell if their story is sci-fi um, I say the rule of thumb is if you strip out the technology okay. um, does the story still have a plot if it doesn't, then it may be closer to sci-fi because sci-fi technology has to inform the plot. It can't just be like the theme or the skin. It has to um, truly drive the action. And uh, a lot of times technology is um, is the theme. It's it's everything. It's the soul. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's called speculative fiction okay. where it's set in the future, um, but technology isn't really the point. And so that that's not really typical sci-fi. That's, that's speculative. So, okay, so in speculative, of, are they creating their own? They're just kind of creating like a different realm, a different yes. world. Yes. Okay. And they might be going for hyper realistic. So I don't even know um, what that is. Margaret <laughs> Atwood. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Margaret Atwood. Uh, so she hates being labeled as sci-fi. At least I this is what I've her. heard, and I love her too. She's she says I write speculative, um, and speculative. that's because okay. for her, um, that's where the definition um, departs. So she's talking about society and she's talking about culture, and it's not necessarily the okay. technology that's at the soul of her okay. work. Okay, she so. did Handmaid's Tale. Yes, she did. And I have to give a shout out to my friend Lynn Maxey who is writing on that show. Oh, oh yes. that's so exciting. Really, my friend and co-writer, not co-writer, but co-group, writing group person. So yeah. Oh, um, I cannot wait yay. to see that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. And she's a great writer, so, it's and fabulous. she said it was a great show. But anyways, those are super helpful. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions for Erin or want to reach her, she's going to give us her Twitter yes. address. Uh, just tweet at me at E.M. Kenimer and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about sci-fi. Okay, so. E-M Kenimer. Yeah. Spell it. K-E-N-N-E-M-E-R. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us today for a little bit peek into sci-fi and with Erin. And we'll see you, you next time. Live long Bye. and prosper. <laughs>